Greetings and salutations. It's your boy Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back, and this is Divine Feminine's uh, situation, and hopefully we should have Divine Masculine's karmic situation immediately after this. So I already got the spread picked. This is my second time doing this. I was a little, I don't know, groggy last time I did it, but I'm at work. Been here since 2 p.m. Today it is now 3:53 a.m. 16-hour shift, and I got two hours. I uh, just got off a life coaching segment, so I had to shuffle the crap out these cards and um, figure for the last two hours I'm on this shift, I might as well get some work done. Cause I'm gonna just get some sleep, hit the gym, and. Be right back in this motherfucker for another eight hours at 2 p.m. But um, at least you get to see how I get busy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do work from a laptop. You usually see this shit here, like 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 the shit that I'm pointing to on my glasses. But now you kind of get to see how this shit is made. And I do do it for a lab from a laptop, and you know it's, it happens just like this. This is how the magic happens. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's just get straight to this message. Um, it's definitely going to be a good one. So, overall energy, we got the Six of Wands. This is victories, celebrations, and W's. Wins. That's what you need to do. Winning. It's cool to have wins, but life ain't all about winning. You wouldn't go hard on your son who's five years old, you're playing basketball with, you're not going to block all his shots, steal the ball from him and score every shot. You know what I mean? It's not going to make the game you're playing with him fun. It's like you're showing your oldest son how to play chess and you're smoking him every game. I'm saying you got to give him a win, but you got to make this shit engaging. It's, 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 it's something much more than a win when it comes to the playing aspect of it. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the Ten of Wands. It's ending something you was passionate about. Like, whatever this is, you're trying to win. You got to be the bigger man sometimes. And let people have what they want. I mean, this is the energy of knowing when to hold them and knowing when to fold them. Because the final card in here is the Dark Knight of the Soul. This is being asked out. This is losing everything. This is having nothing. This is the energy of you gambling, not knowing your limit, finally reaching your limit by force and not by choice. It's like all you got is five hundred dollars. You already bet two hundred. Why would you spend another dollar playing this game when you can just bow out gracefully to the wands? You're passionate about this game. You're passionate about gambling. You're passionate about something because you're basically dumping your money into a situation you ain't going to get no money back from. So at this point, you just playing for fun. Y'all know when to quit. You had an outing, social outing. You came to meet some friends, stay all the way downtown. You stay all the way in the wild hunted south side of the shop. It's like you're having a good time. But you are driving home. You need to know when to say no. Everybody got a limit, including you. You got to know what your limit is. It's like a person that drinks and don't know, don't know their um, limit. You gotta know your limit. You gotta know how far you can push yourself. Hopping in other people's business. Helping other people's problems. Helping them with their woes and shit. It gets to the point where you ain't gonna win every battle. And we don't take losses over here. We take lessons. So you're not gonna lose if you don't win you're going to learn if you don't win. Ten of Wands. you got to put something you're passionate about to an end. This could be beating somebody ass. Like, you want to fight somebody, but you realize you're a fucking adult. And adults don't fight. Two grown-ass people fighting, 
That's some childish shit. Kids fight over clothes, over the front seat, over food. That's kid shit. We ain't in high school. We ain't in head start. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't in grade school. It's like um, it's like Chris Rock wife on I think I love my wife. You know, Teddy beats his ass up basically for being with uh, Kerry Washington and shit. You know what I'm saying? When Kerry Washington was at her crib, he was helping her move her shit out, and Teddy came through. Kerry watched your boyfriend in the movie and he ended up beating the shit out of Chris Rock because he think they cheating on him while he gone and shit. And it's like he get home and he tells his wife he got into a fight. Yeah. I tap somebody, they get out their car, I get out my car and we just get the fight. She was like, hold on, stop, stop, stop. That's the most dumbest shit I ever fucking heard. You're a grown ass man. Like, you get into fucking fights in the fucking street? Like a kid, like the fuck you are. Know what I mean, as the bigger man, you don't fight. The bigger man walks away. Bigger man apologizes even though they ain't wrong. It's you being the mature one, the wise one, the one with sense out the group. If you don't know what your limit is, then you're gonna hit your limit. Say that shit two times. If you don't know what your limit is, you're going to hit your limit. Overall energy. Bottom line energy, we got two of wands. Survival. You got to survive. Two of wands. This is a job. And whatever this job is, keeps food in your motherfucking refrigerator. Keeps lights on in your house. Keeps the heat on. Keeps you driving. Keeps you with clothes on your back. Whatever you're doing for a living is assuring your survival in a way. But clarifying this survival, we got the Four of Swords. This is being too much in your head. <coughs> this is having an idle mind. Or this is too much rest and relaxation. We got jobs to do here, people. You got a job you work at. It's some type of family structure you're in to where you're something in your family. Maybe that's the breadwinner. Maybe that's the provider. Maybe you take care of your little brothers and sisters who have special disabilities or something like that. Maybe you, uh, I don't know, single mother. You know, maybe you're the dad, everybody's father. You're like the uncle that's everybody's dad and shit. Like, it's your role. You know what I'm saying? And it's pivotal for you to hold your role down. It's pivotal for you to do your part in your family, at your job, in your community. Because you're just doing your part. I told you, birds do this shit. Roaches do this shit. Ants do this shit. Everybody needs to do this shit too. Now, what you can't do is be, be in the actions of surviving, but in the mental of resting. Two of wands in the actions of working, but in the mental of resting. Like, I could be sleep here, but it's like my first week at this job, so I ain't never finna let these niggas catch me lacking to where I'm asleep. Because I see how they pop up on motherfuckers. Like, they take pictures of these of motherfuckers that be working in these booths and shit. Like, motherfucker probably be sitting here catching Z's. A nigga will pull up, get right here, take pictures of me, and then show it to the boss that I was asleep on a job. Like, since I'm at my two of ones, I just figured, hey, let me do some three of ones around here right now so I ain't for sorting resting when I need to be working even if my work is uh you know what I'm saying this shit is easy like what I do is easy as you see I don't, I don't really do too much I mean I just hold down the fort over here um let's put more smoke on this you need to be work not working not sleep because there's actions for you to do Two of Wands, you have to do your part. If you don't show up to work, somebody got to pick up on your slack. If you ain't about your family business, if you ain't taking care of family business, somebody else going to have to catch the slack. If you ain't on your gig, best believe somebody else is going to have to get on one because you ain't on one. Clarifying being in your head is the Ace of Wands. This is awareness. This is all you need. 
need to take some awareness and A for add it to your two of wands situation. Two of wands plus ace of wands, what's that? Real wands, purpose. What life is all about, purpose. You was put on this earth for a purpose. I was put on this earth for a purpose. What's the purpose? That's doing something outside of your two of wands situation, survival, work, and helping other people. Or blessing other people. That's your purpose. Do something outside of your two of wands situation to bless or help other people. You're going to get blessed for doing it, but you're not doing this for the blessings. You're doing this shit because it's your purpose. It's what the fuck you're supposed to be doing anyway. That's the awareness, a for awareness you need. Feminine, it's purpose over person. Do not allow any person to interfere with your purpose. Family, don't even let your own twin get in the way of you and your purpose. Coming to the situation of why feminine, we have the nine of pentacles. This is you being right where you need to be. To be blessed, to get blessed, or to be in the right location. Clarifying being in the right location, we got the four of cups. That's the world. Feminine, at this very moment, despite what you think, in this very moment, you are exactly where you need to be in life. Be included. Say where I see myself being at this point in my life. This is exactly where the fuck I need to be at this point in my life. Purpose brought me here. In your face. You watching me. Purpose brought me here. Not to this two of wands. Survival brought me to this job that I'm working at right now. But purpose brought you here to me. But in reality, purpose brought me here to you. <laughs> yeah. You're at the right place at the right time to catch a message. I'm at the right place at the right time to create a message right now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And this is what has to happen in the world. Put more smoke on the world, though, and why it's imperative for you to be in your place, whether you at work. I'm working a 16-hour shift because the nigga chose not to work today. 16 hours, bro. I ain't tripping. I just started trying to make a good impression. Plus, I could eat this shit up like it ain't shit because I'm good at passing the time. But it just shocks me how people with jobs don't like working. And in my personal opinion, the reason why people jobs people with jobs don't like working is because of the bottom line energy. Motherfuckers want to rest four swords and relax when they got a fucking job to do. It's like that nigga you find at work chilling in the bathroom sleep because this nigga don't want to work. Karma to that. So coming to the situation of life, feminine, you're right where you need to be to bless somebody or be blessed in the world or be in the right place at the right time to catch a message or to give a message or it's like it was your purpose to be right where you at right now in life. Because right where you at right now in life is the night of one. You moving fast and furious in your divine direction. Believe it or not, you're in your divine direction. I told you, nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens by accident. Just like these two cards being next to each other in this fucking reading. In the Mystery Madness role, Divine Feminine, you got the King of Wands, your Divine Masculine, being clarified by the Queen of Wands, which is you, Divine Feminine. What is this? It looks like you got his back, or you should always have his back. But, I mean, nine times out of ten, you always hold your masculine down. I got to pick some cards up. Nine times out of ten, you always hold your masculine down. So, let's get to the nitty gritty of what this might be. Why are you behind your masculine? Why do I keep dropping cards? Sleepy. God smack. <coughs> King of Swords is a God smack. It's divine intervention. And um, it's just God stepping into the picture. When it comes to you, Divine Feminine, you're right here. Having your Divine Masculine's back the way you do, just know God got your 
got your front. Like, you got your divine masculine back, God got your back. Or, you got your divine masculine's back, God got your front. This is a divine sandwich right here. It's a trinity, right? Neo, Trinity, and this is God, King of Swords. Like I say, every divine has a reflection. And every, every divine is basically God. Like, God of Sixes is down from your chin. You know what I mean? That means God body things can happen with you. God body shit don't happen in weak people. And God body shit don't happen to weak people or regular people for that matter. We're divines. We supposed to be birds of a feather flocking together, not beefing against each other, not going against each other on shit. The fact of the matter is, you got two kings and a queen here. Divine masculine is powerful, but he ain't as powerful as divine feminine. Divine Feminine is powerful, but she ain't as powerful as God. So if this was the Holy Trinity, God would be the Father. Feminine would be the motherfucking Son. And the Masculine would be the Spirit. It's hierarchy. God's powerful. Divine Feminine is next in the power game. And Divine Masculine is more powerful than a person less than your feminist. So I told you like divine masculine is like Superman, divine feminine is like Batman, and God is like you know what I'm saying crate was that what was that dude uh from uh from Marvel uh Endgame? Fuck is his name? Uh not Apocalypse uh God, I forgot that. I'm, I'm half asleep right now. I'm so sorry. The villain from Marvel Endgame, they got the fucking rings and shit. You know what I'm saying? That dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's like God. It's like the HNIC head nigga in charge. Like, ain't nobody more powerful than him. Like, y'all powerful. Like, look at all these motherfucking Marvel characters that had to fight one villain. It's called scale. You get to see how the scale of power is distributed. I told you, God is the source. He's the wall. Divine feminine, you're the plug. Divine masculine is the phone that plugs into you. And you're plugged into the wall. Hierarchy. It's imperative, you know hierarchy. Feminine, why can hierarchy help you? So you ain't never got a trip. When it comes to... Um, Knowing what things are and what things aren't. Your trinity, you're more wiser. I told you, you're the bigger man. You put passionate ends to shit. Masculines just crashes and burns. They don't give up things. They don't sacrifice things. Not saying they all do that, but most of them kind of move in the same manner. You know what I mean? Divine feminine, you're like Batman. Okay? You're a human being. You're vulnerable. But you got tricks up your sleeves and a shitload of resources to where it looked like you a superhuman person when you're not. Why masculine? Superman. He's a superhuman person. But this motherfucker got one weakness. That's kryptonite. Batman has no weakness. He's just a mortal. I mean, a mortal, not immortal. He's just a mortal. Unlike Superman, who's immortal. But even though Superman is immortal and is in the same Justice League as Batman, like I say, Batman is the most powerful because he is the most vulnerable. He is the most smartest. I told you, Batman uses his brain, wit, utility belt, and a shitload of tricks up his sleeves to get the job done, and he always does that. You gotta get that motherfucker respect. There's other people like Batman, like Robin, Hawkeye, shit like that but they ain't really got the stigma of like batman you know what i'm saying 
Feminine, you in regards to yourself, you got the Ace of Swords. This is you moving uh, in the right direction. It's only one right way, Ace of Swords. What's that? Up. Uh, clarifying the Ace of Swords is the Two of Swords. What's the Two of Swords? That's pussy flipping around. Or thinking you got options, but you don't. It's only one direction you need to be headed to. So it's more just thinking you got options when you don't. There is no other option. You're just going up. There is no other... Um, higher power. It's just one. You think it is two higher powers when it's one? You're going the wrong way. Or you ain't ascending. No. You thinking it's a heaven and hell when it's just a heaven and no hell out here? Like there isn't, I mean, duality exists <clears throat> to a certain degree, but it's only one thing. It's only one God you need to be praising. It's only one path you need to be on. It's only one divine masculine or divine feminine you're dealing with here. There is no multi freaking twin. That shit's dead. It's no multi gods, so there's not going to be no multi twins out here. One. What is one to you? A single. A solo. A uno. It's only one message you get in here. You know what I'm saying? And what that message is, is don't fall off the path. Do not go from an ace of swords energy to a two sword, to a sword energy and get the pivoting back and forth to a sword back and forth from the ace to the two. What you need to do is keep going. Go from this ace to knowing what direction to go to two of swords. Facing the direction you need to face, seeing what's behind you, seeing what's in front of you, seeing what you're going to miss, and seeing what you're going to basically gain. And Ace of Swords plus Two of Swords, that's the Three of Swords. That's moving fast and furiously in your divine direction to basically to stay on purpose, to stay on job, to stay on business. Picking another card here. got the Joker or the full card. <clears throat> you pivoting in two directions when you know the only direction to go is up is foolish. You know what's foolish? Acting like you don't know something when you know it. It's like you doing 80 on the motherfucker freeway, a cop pull you over, ask you why you going so fast, and you say some shit like, I didn't see the speed limit sign. But that's foolish, because you know there are speed limit signs out here. It's your job to pay attention to them. So if you ain't looking at the signs, then you damn sure ain't looking at your speed. If you, disre if you disregarded the signs, then you definitely disregarded the speed you was going and of course this shit can happen. Matter of fact, you a fool, like I say, thinking you even got options other than going in one the right direction. There's no options. We only need to be even closer to God out here. Why are we even tugging, playing a tug of war with, with the devil for it? We all know that respect, admiration, and integrity, and morals, and shit like that, we, we, we do know that exists, right? We can pussyfoot around acting like we don't know the difference between right and wrong, or we don't know what kind of world we live in when we do, but only fools act unaware of things. You a grown person, right, feminine? All right, it's called accountability then. All grown-ups have accountability. Only people who ain't accountable for shit are kids. Kids. And some seniors. Fact of the matter is, like, <clears throat> you play pussy, you get fucked. You play stupid, you're going to end up in some stupid ass situations. All right? You smart. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't bright. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't thinking. You wouldn't be here if you couldn't analyze. You wouldn't be here if you couldn't resonate with this shit. So you a step ahead. So the only reason you, like some shit happens to where you play dumb or you end up basically getting uh, 
the word I'm looking for? Basically getting a uh, Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna do another video. I probably just might do that a little later, but. You gotta go past the point of no return. You know what past the point of no return is. So you can't act stupid when it comes to going all out. You're not gonna sneak out your mama's house, get caught. And hit her with some dumbass excuse like she a little kid or something. That's mom. Anything you about to tell her, I'm pretty sure she told her mother before. Doing the same shit you doing. Apple don't fall too far from the tree. You know. It's like you lie to your mom about some petty shit. Something you didn't really have to lie about trying to cover up something. When in reality you should have just went all in on whatever you was doing anyway. It's like I used to tell my twin sister when she sneak out the crib and shit. She just sneak out for like two hours and shit. I'll be like, yo ass might as well spend the night because you gonna get in the same trouble whether you came in two hours late or fucking in the morning, G. It's called accountability. It's imperative for you to be accountable on the decisions that you mentally make it for a minute, on the direction that you're going for a minute. In the direction that you want to go for a minute. The only person that's going to be accountable for it. As far as your mystery madness role in regards to yourself, we got the Three of Swords here. Going past the point of no return. Clarifying the harvest here. Above this, you were in regards to yourself, I and mean, I told you, you had the Two of Swords. The Ace of Swords first, yeah. You have the Ace of Swords plus the Two of Swords, which makes up the three. Consciously, you ain't past the point of no return. You just know which way to go, and you kind of pussyfooting around on going in that direction because you still kind of unaware of something. Something you unaware of. <clears throat> Me included. Mystery Madness to that is a harvest. Those with the whole two of one ramp. We got jobs. We got to do shit to, to survive and maintain. Hey, the pinnacles. That's the harvest. Everybody has a harvest. What's this? This is shoes on your back, clothes on your feet, comfortable bed to sleep on. Is that it? right? Clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, comfortable bed to sleep on. Uh, car. You know what I'm saying? Um, nice place to sleep at night. Couple toys. You're going to have to get past the point of no return when it comes to dealing with your harvest. It's time to deal with your harvest. And you got to get past the point of no return. You're going to have to be all in with this shit. Not dabbling in it. All in. For a reason. I told you everything happens for a reason. Let's put some more smoke on this. Why is it imperative for you to go all out? You go past the point of no return when it comes to your harvest. Queen of Cups. This is the Psychic card or the X-Men card. You know I mean, this is your powers. In order for you to step into your powers, you kind of got to step into what's yours. This is your garden. You're going to have to enter your garden. By entering your garden, it's like... <sighs> By entering your garden, like I said, you can really get a gist of what you've been working for. You put a lot into your twin flame situation, it's gonna show. You're gonna gain some fruits from your labor. If your garden is barren with no type of pinnacles in it, it ain't even a garden. It's a junkyard. It's a abandoned lot. And it's all about having harvests out here. Queen of Cups. This could also be, like I said, ghosting. You're gonna get some. Dreams, visions, and um, some synchronicities about what direction you need to go from here. What is past the point of no return? You're going to get some awareness of what the no return point is in your life right now. As far as the masculine energy, wait a minute. 
Let me go to the last one. We got the six of pentacles. This is getting square. Clarifying that it's the eight of wands. Six of square. I mean, six of pentacles. That's getting square in life by securing your two of wands, your job, being of service, doing your part in the community and the workforce. Getting square is also three of wanting, which is doing something outside of yourself. That's going to help other people or bless other people and help you at the same time. A necessity. Clarifying that Six of Pentacles is the Eight of Wands. That's communication, communication, communication. Part of getting square, Three of Pentacles, you're going to have the Eight of Wands. This is communicate. This is also a book, scroll, texts, you know. You're going to have to learn the ways of the world. Not glorify the ways of the world, but learn the ways of the world. How you get square with God being on your purpose, how you get square with life being on your job, make sure you are on both. And if you need help to get there, communicate. You can always ask somebody for help. You can always ask somebody for an honest opinion, you can always ask somebody for directions, you can always ask somebody for anything if you need to do so. Something has to be communicated. And you're going to be the one to communicate that feminine because this is you personally. It's like you need to communicate the fact that you're trying to get square with somewhere, someone, something, or someplace. Clarifying that is three of cups. This is the third party. You're going to have to get square. Any third parties you got. Three of cups are third parties. Three of cups are also distractions. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to speak up before you get distracted out here. goes back to the overall energy. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Like, Given your lifestyle feminine, it's like you can't really be putting yourself in situations to where, like I say, you losing shit. You got time, energy, and resources invested in. You grown. You ain't got time to take risks. You don't play like kids. You ain't working this job for no reason. At least, you know what I'm saying? Because you're digging it and feeling it that much. Communication here. Not the talk. True self sets you free. Like, if you don't talk <clears throat> feminine, if you don't say the words that was never said, they're never going to get said. So this is the energy of like, like I say, maybe you got something you want to tell your, your masculine. Maybe it's a message you've been, you got in your draft that you ain't sent yet because you feel like it's the wrong time to send it. Or you feel like he ain't, he ain't responding to your messages before he ain't finna start like you're gonna be under the impression that you sending whatever this communication, whatever this note, whatever this message, whatever this letter is, that it's gonna backfire. I'm telling you right now, it's not. Cause mystery madness role to you in regards to the masculine right now. We got the three of wands and we got the devil card clarifying that. Three of Wands, that's purpose. That you doing something outside of yourself to bless other people while blessing yourself at the same time. In the midst of you, three of Wanding, two of Wanding, that's working a regular job and doing shit outside of your regular job or outside your regular regimen to help people. Devil next to it. Devil's addictions. Devil is past behavior. It's that monkey on your back you can't leave alone. It's that crazy ass baby mama that, that's just too much. It's a bad record deal you signed. Bad business lease you signed. Apartment lease you signed. Whatever it is, it ain't good. What's clarifying this three of wands? Whatever it is, it ain't good. I'm putting more smoke on this. 
got the Knight of Wands. This is being all in or putting your whole heart into some shit. When it comes to your purpose, Divine Feminine, it's like the devil is trying to really, um, it's like the devil is really trying to put us all into you like he does your masculine. I told you, masculine, as long as you keep playing with the devil, you're going to make it okay for the devil to come over here like like your feminine fuck with the devil and the devil. No, your feminine don't fuck with the devil like you fuck with the devil, masculine. You're two different people. You and your twins are the same, but y'all are different. The way y'all deal with the devil is different. But it's the saying that goes like this. You permit what you promote, and you promote what you permit. So as many qualms as I got with shit, that I don't promote. I definitely ain't permitting that shit either. Permit what you promote, you promote what you permit. If you permit fuckery, fuckery is gonna follow. If you permit the devil to be in your space, the devil gonna let themselves in to your house, to your window, all that. You know? Um, you just gotta look out for these distractions. The devil itself is a distraction. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil don't come to do nothing more than that. Steal your life from you. Steal your job from you. Steal your purpose from you. Steal your ideas from you. Kill. Kill you. <laughs> take your life. Take your kid's life. Take your family's life. Destroy everything you have. The devil's trying to destroy everything you have. And guess what? You your own worst enemy. So it ain't like the devil doing this shit personally. You personally doing this shit to yourself. That's why I had to pay to know who, once again, your creator is. You don't know God, you don't know yourself. If you don't know yourself, you don't know God. If you don't know God, then you got a problem. That's the creator. It's the architect. If you ain't familiar with your source. That means you don't tap into the source that much. Going to the future, feminine, you got a big ass manifestation being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, which is the grooming card. You got a big ass manifestation, divine feminine. And aside from having this big ass, <laughs> this big ass manifestation, it's like you got to get groomed to handle this big ass manifestation. So if it's union you're going to get into, you need to be groomed for it. You're trying to get married, then you need to groom yourself into the ideal wife you're trying to be. Or look for the ideal husband that you're looking for. Whatever it is, is next level shit. Knight of Pentacles, next level shit. And, um, the Ace of Pentacles can also mean like two people being in attendance. Or two people finally being accountable for some shit. Smoke, smoke on that. Finally being accountable for some shit. And six of cups. <clears throat> Remaining saucy at all times. Stay saucy, my friends. Whatever you about to manifest is gonna be huge. But you're gonna have to be ready to receive whatever it is you want. If you want union, you gotta be ready. You gotta have your heart and mind ready for union. You, know? you want success, fame, fortune, wealth. You gotta have your heart and mind and pockets ready to handle stuff like that. Since they're all red cards, it's a warning. Going into the future, personally, feminine, I'm telling you, if you do not learn how to groom yourself when this big ass manifestation arrives, then you're just gonna be a saucy person and that's it. Everybody got sauce. Dogs got personality and shit like that. Steve's and shit. I mean, as a human being, you gotta hold shit down, son. <laughs> you also gotta boss up. Ace of Pentacles plus Knight of Pentacles. That is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is bossing up. The police car. Saucy shit. But you gotta stay saucy. You gotta remain yourself. Can't let people dilute you. It's like you uncut, you uncut funk. 
Don't let nobody cut you. Final cards going to the future. Feminine in the Mystery Madness world. We got the Tough Love card, King of Cups here. 1950s, 1960s dad. Dan Lawyer card from the Wonder Years. Tough Love. That's showing a spirit of discernment and not really, I mean, a spirit of discernment and really having a very mature approach to life, uh, the people in it, and the activities that dwell here. Clarifying as the five of swords. This is focus. You're going to have to focus, okay, on your whole tough love aspect. Masculine, I mean, feminine. I told you, you like your twin, but you ain't like your twin. There's certain shit that your twin do to you that you need to be doing to other people. And there's certain shit that other people do to your twin that your twin is going to do to you. Just got to know how things twerk. The only reason you should be in a King of Cups energy is if you're trying to A, downplay a special good situation. Like, for example, I don't know, you're thinking about uh, renewing your vows with your loved one and stuff. And, uh, I was going with that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, only time you should be in a tough love energy is when you have to be. Only time you need to be in a tough love energy is when you have to be. And only time you have to be in a tough love situation is when you kind of being very proactive on how you really feel about something. It's all emotions. King of Cups is supposed to be the highest form of emotion you can master. Not a cloak of tough guy or tough girl shit that you throw on you whenever you want to overcompensate for being nice. Whenever people don't take you that seriously, you got to play this role in order to get the, I don't know, uh, reactions that you're looking for. I don't smoke on this. Four of Wands. That's home, that's union, that's reunion, that's recognition, that's being, like, on purpose. All the way. Next level with the purpose. Tough love. This tough love shit uh, that you've been dealing with, feminine. If not, you personally being on some tough love shit, then this is your masculine being on some tough love shit with you. Personally. Personally, it's like <clears throat> you need to keep your eye on the prize. Four ones. That's the prize. That's home. So if you want union, that's finally being in it. If you want to be reunited with your twin, that's finally being reunited with your twin. If you want to meet your twin, this is finally you meeting your twin. You two be in the same vicinity. This also could be home. Like home home. It's a little delay with you in the home department. And since it's a little delay with you in the home department, it's kind of got your, like I said, king of cups. Tough acting, tin acting, dad <laughs> energy here kind of throws static at it. You know, doesn't kind of clear. So, what does Divine Master want to tell you in the fourth and fifth dimension? Four of Pentacles is some shit your masculine is holding on too tight to and can't let go of. What is that? Ten of Cups, that's being happy. What makes him happy? Three of Pentacles, building with a particular someone, you and someone else. Not like you and him got something to do. Subconsciously, he's starting to see that. And he's gonna get warned about that. He got ghosted in the last message. You know? He definitely got ghosted in the last message. Like these his whole new emotions 
is starting to form. This is emotional fulfillment, emotional contentment, ten of cups, this is happiness, it's all good. So good, you don't want to let it go. This little situation between you and him, and whatever y'all got going on. You, him, and whatever y'all got going on, like your divine masculine cannot let go of it. What do you want to tell your masculine in the fourth and fifth dimension? Seven of Swords, Decepticon, it's letting secrets out the bags, keep your shit 100. You gotta keep 100 for a minute. Five of Cups. You're letting your masculine know. Basically revealing to him that I told you when you were divine, you were in a class by yourself. It's five of cups. You got four of cups and you got four of cups which is the world, and then you got an ace of cups in the middle of it, which is taking care of yourself in the world. Now secret's gonna come up when it comes to how you're feeling emotionally so the energy that I'm feeling is like because of your lack of awareness like I was telling my friend I was doing life coaching with uh, before I did this it's like I hear good stories about what my twin thinks of me you know the good stuff my twin speaks about uh, stuff like that so I'm too spaced out on this reading up run. Um Yeah, emotional isolation, that's what I was talking about, sorry. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta join the workforce just to be around regular people. That's why I work. Be around regular people. I'm very antisocial. I can get to where I can be so isolated with my own self and my own shit that I don't have. Like I, I used to say that I don't have to deal with other people, or you know, I don't like people. You know what I'm saying I'd rather go somewhere by myself, or rather be chilling by myself, or rather work by myself. Like if I had my choice, I'd be in an office punching numbers like an accountant. 80 hours a week, not talking to nobody. I could just be in my office punching numbers for 80 hours a week by myself. That's the dream job to me. I can get so much shit done. Even when I was in high school, when we had group projects, I just did the shit myself and told them to put their name on the shit. Because they like to talk. They like to socialize. They ain't that bright. They ain't really been on their work and shit like that. Me, I can get on that shit real quick, fast, and in a hurry. So ain't nobody losing nothing. I'm burning time and having fun doing this one little project by myself. The manner that I like it. At the same time, they get what they need out of it, which is a passive grade. Huh? What is the universe going to say? Final thought. King of Pentacles, man, the fuck up. Feminine. You need to man up. One what? I'm putting permanent ends to the shit you need to put permanent ends to and move the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Post post permanent end. King of Pentacles, manning up. So, final word. There's some divine feminists out here who really need to leave their motherfucking uh, divine masculines alone. Why? Your divine masculine heart and mind ain't ready. To meet you right now in the game. Their heart and mind ain't really aligned with what the fuck they need to be aligned with right now. Like, shit is very crucial at the moment. Like, shit is, shit is too crucial. <laughs> um, some people don't need to be in your life right now. Can't enable your twin. If you enable your twin, you're not helping your twin. If you're not helping your twin, you're not helping yourself. Eventually, your twin is going to help you one day. How is your twin going to help you if you ain't helping him the right way? It's all behavior. It's all actions. 
That's all I got for today. Deuces.